Hello and welcome, my name is Nilaus and this is a brand new game on this channel. So we are diving into Total War Warhammer 2. This is just coming out today and this would be a nice change of pace for me from, from Factorio. This doesn't mean that any of my other series are not going to continue, it just simply means that I want to try something new. And I will be playing this campaign and seeing how this goes. I am not an expert in this game and I have not played a second of Warhammer 2 yet so i think it's going to be really interesting just to see how it is i've been looking at the different heroes and well i think the high elves at least for starting they might be just a bit too simple uncomplex there's spearmen there's archers yeah that's fine but this guy had lost master mundi for for this for the slant that's um, I don't want to start with a very really advanced spellcaster to start off with. I think that's just going to be too complex. And I want some... I want archers and I want monsters. And I think the combination of archers and monsters could be really good here. Um, Skaven... Mm, the, the fact that the initial challenge is hard. I am a rookie in this. So let's, let's give Malakith a, a try and then see how this goes. So let's try and read up about it before we dive in, just to figure out what the hell is going on. So Dark Elves. What do they have? Black Ox, powerful naval units that can replenish forces, recruit new units and forces, and bombard battles within range. That sounds interesting. Slaves, provide a bonus to provincial economies at the cost of reduced public order. That seems reasonable. Murderous prowess. Dark Elves receive a favor of Cain in the form of increased combat performances should they kill enough enemies in battle okay so that means basically the second half of a battle is going to be better i guess i guess that's kind of what it says right malekith gives a percent of xp to other lords that's kind of him i did not know that they were so friendly diplomatic with cult of pleasure that is the other faction cult of pleasure and he's nagarond increased chance of loyalty loss for lords and i don't know what loyalty is We'll find out. Plus two loyalty for new recruits. Upkeep. Minus for black guards of Nagaron, Dread Spears. Bleak Swords. And Dark Shards units. Okay. So that means these units we definitely want. That's black guards of Nagaron. They're Hellbot units. So they're good against large enemies. So just to explain something about the setting of Warhammer 2. If you know nothing about it. It, can, it comprises of two parts. There's a campaign map where you walk around with your armies. Uh, building cities, claiming territory, and there's an in-battle mode where you control the army in against another army, and that's a real time. That's the tough part. All right, let's start and see what the intro is like. Hope you enjoy it. The world has seen countless murders, but one killing stands above all others. One death that has shaped the world. Malekith, son of Enerion, was betrayed. The elven princes crowned Belshanar as the second Phoenix King. So Malekith brooded and poured his hate into a single cup. Malekith toasted Belshanar, then stepped over his dying body and into the sacred flame of kings. But the fire stripped his flesh, and with a final scream, he hurled himself back from whence he came. His body was taken north, and a suit of armor forged. Malekith was reborn. The witch king, and in his shadow, Legions raised. Decades of civil war followed. Then Malekith embarked on the most ruthless of plans. His sorcerers would unbind the magic of the Great Vortex. Created by Kalador Dragon Tamer and his elven mages, the Vortex siphons the winds of magic, keeping the demon tide at bay. Malekith's spell was flung at the Vortex. But Kalidor himself broke through the mists of time to deflect the titanic force back at its casters. 
The shadow lands were ravaged, sundered. Consumes the heart of Ulfwan. My son will take its power and our vengeance. Find the Oracle. She knows what to do. I am willing to serve to earn my soul's release. Oh, that seems strange. No sooner has Malkit issued his commandment to. Felician then word reaches to him that Nagrand is under attack. A treacherous band of Skaven and their marauder allies have taken advantage of the discord wrought by the comet's appearance to strike Dark Elf the Heartland. Cursing the perfidious Ratman, Malekith gathers his retinue and scurries back to the shore to meet out the punishment in person. Okay, so we this is I guess suppose this is the introduction battle where we have to figure out how the game works. I think that's fine. I have played Warhammer 1, uh, so I think I have sort of the basic mechanics in place, but not not to the extent of just nailing it completely. That's going to be part of the learning experience, so I hope that this will be interesting for you as well to figure out how this game works alongside how I find out, alongside how I found out how it works. Now the loading screens in this game are quite extensive. And that might be some part due to my PC, but also they are quite lengthy. Now the intro, it seemed like, it seemed poorly paced in on in honesty. I like this story, but I wasn't quite sort of in on it. But basically, he betrayed the other elves, he became a dark elf, he tried to disrupt the portal, I don't know why, but just because. And that didn't work, so he is waiting for the Twin Tail Comet, which is now. And now he believes that he can do it again by enlisting some witch by having her soul, then she will help. Okay. Let's, let's see how that pans out. But the objective is every, everything in this campaign is centered around the Great Vortex. Come on, just give me the last sliver. Last sliver of progression. Ooh. Sire, Witch King, Lord of the Druki. I know to you, I am a fleeting thing. A man, a mortal. But you have received a vision. I humbly attest, my advice is worthy of your majesty. The vile Skaven and their Northmen allies have seen fit to invade Nagarond in your absence, sire. Attacking from their subterranean tunnels, the Ratmen have caught your sentries by surprise. While Nagarond itself remains secure, I regret to inform you that their verminous forces have overrun many smaller cities in the hinterlands of your territory. Though your rapid return brings some welcome additional forces, the situation remains grim. See for yourself. 
Alright, so this is the campaign map. Let's figure out how this pans out. Yep, we move around. Move the camera to inspect points of interest. Any battlefield they enter, King Malekith. Direct your dread spears against the Skaven enemy. See how they run. Okay, so I direct the camera towards my... of Nagarond have repelled many foolish invaders over your reign, sire. Yet this threat must not be taken lightly. Just like the Bluki, the vermin are vicious and opportunistic killers. They are doubtless working tirelessly to undermine your fortress. Alright, and then we... Oh, okay, what? Oh, the damn, I wanted to see that. The are overrun with vermin, your majesty. The Skaven first came into your realm beneath Far Caldra, gnawing for weeks through frozen rock to enter the ruined city from below. What that has sucks. driven the Skaven to such a suicidal attack remains unknown. Yet it remains an affront that cannot stand. Exact your terrible retribution, my dread sovereign. Let not one of them escape alive. You are quite chatty, aren't you? Okay, camera. The enemy were Move. Not prepared for your arrival, my king. I change now role. Now is the perfect Facing. time to attack. Select your army first. Do I like this rotation? Yeah, I do. Right, so we select our army Good. and then see what goes on. Now, issue an order to engage the enemy, my lord. They are scattered and not prepared for an attack so soon. Alright, so this is basically one hero and three units of 90s dread spears. Let's have a look at the dread spears. Left click to select. What's that? Oh, rename. I wish I could move over here and figure out. Oh, no, 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 no. That's it. This is kind of annoying that I want to hover over those icons below the dread spears. There are four icons below, and I have no idea what it is. What is this? Lure of the Pale Queen. That's an army ability hex. That basically makes rooted in place. That's nice. And your hero rank one. All right, let's let's have you attack and see how it goes. Boom. Battle is upon you, mighty witch king. Your elves are vicious and deadly, but the Skaven yeah. have a death frenzy upon them and will offer you no quarter. Prepare your forces for murderous bloodshed. Okay, so they have a charge bonus against large when breaching. Embracing this unit negates the charge bonus of any large attacker. So they're good against monsters, basically. Hide. Hide in the forest. Okay. And murderous prowess. That means if at some point when I get the murderous prowess, then that's an army-wide buff. Then I get leadership, melee, charge bonus, armor piercing, melee, armor piercing, melee, missile damage, and vigor. Vigor is moving longer, faster without getting tired. All right, so this is my army. Let's just dive in and see how this goes. We'll learn this together. So let's uh, figure out how this works. This is a small battle, very small. I mean, just four units on each side and they have more, but of course the quality of the high elves is higher. The question is, how advanced do I want to, uh, to make the battle? Okay, the Skaven may be numerous and pervasive as they are vicious and scheming, but they are seldom seen in Nagaroth, and it is rare for them to directly engage a being of such power as Malekith, the Witch King of the Dark Elves. Nevertheless, the Redmen are loose in Nagaroth, and now they threaten to overrun the Dark Elf capital. Malekith must halt the Skaven momentum, lest they force their way into his city from below. That sucks. The Skaven are moving a lot underground, and Night Elves do not. At least not in Warhammer, I guess. Do they work underground? I mean, traditionally, Drow are underground creatures. Let's see. Ooh. Vermin dare infest my capital. Skaven Blight overexerts itself. I will not tolerate pests in Nagarond. The Vermin will learn that my city, my realm, is a cold. Cool place. 
Purge the city, my warriors. But ensure you leave some alive. I wish to know how loud a rat can scream. Yada yada yada. The musk of vermin drifts on the air, your majesty. The skaven are close. Survey the area for yourself. Okay. Your warriors rally behind your awesome presence, Dread Sire. Your power is such that it may carry any battle. Be sure to use it wisely. I really like this part where in Warhammer that heroes are so powerful. I think there's a really good balance. Okay, are we just very, very slowly, zoom, slowly zooming out? Can I just move along now? Escape? Okay. Next thing I want to survey. Your are ready for battle, Look awesome. So nice graphics. The blood of the enemy in your name. Love the graphics. Every single one is, a, is an individual soldier. They do kind of do the same things, but still. It gives sort of like a flow over the battlefield so it's not just like a square unit and that's it love it and let's have a look at our enemies over here oh the hills and valleys of this place conceal the enemy's whereabouts my lord this hilltop should afford a good view over the surrounding area okay so that means we should take the the time has come to advance my lord First, select your own unit in order to rejoin your forces. Good. Now issue a move order towards your army. The troops are assembled and await your arrival. Excellent. Your there place we are. amongst your warriors, mighty lord. Oh yes, your absolutely. Your presence encourages them to fight harder. True heir of Anirium. Now I click that one. Cool. The time has come to advance your warriors, my lord. Select your whole army so that the order may be given to all. There you go. All are selected. Good. Now order your army forward, my lord. Let us crest this ridge and find where the enemy lies. All right. So now, if I do this, they... Okay. Excellent. Your they actually maintain for the information. The enemy, my lord. Take this time to practice maneuvering your forces while not under threat of attack. Remember always that orders are issued only See? to units currently selected. I like this one. This is by holding Alt, you can drag your selection, and you can, if you hold Shift as well. No, how, how the hell is it? Control. Oh yeah, Control. You can twist it. Twist it a bit. Move it up, and say that's where it got to go. It's your new command. Hold the space bar to see unit destination when moving. Ah, okay, I didn't know that. Nice. And then I can drag them out into different shapes. Ooh, there they are. Dark elves. The enemy come into sight, my lord. We have caught them by surprise. Advance quickly before they can retreat. What? Why don't I want to maintain the high ground then? I want you in the middle. Stay forward. And once I have this, I will... And then, what if I... Just click? Do they converge? Oh yes, they do converge. That's not what I wanted. And then I need to make sure that they are running. Okay, so this is very, very simple. Everyone just goes straight in. Attack the enemy. Yes, I am. What are you? Okay. Nice. Let's uh, have a look at these ratmen just to see how... Are they doing? Oh, here they come. Boom! Awesome. Their very lives may depend on it. This man's on a unit card for information. Yep. Let's get a bit out here so we can see what the hell is going on. Oh, you're getting a. Oh, he's getting beating. Yep. 
I'm imagining that... Okay, this is interesting. Why am I... It's really strange why... My leadership, that's the grey bar, is decreasing faster than theirs. Okay, you're beating them up. And for the rest, let's have a look in here. On the hero battle. Yes, to slash him. Well, rare. Yeah, they're just... Sl oh, look at that. Oh, the fact that you're not running is... Okay, now everyone's running. Okay, what's going on? Interesting. Wow. Maybe we have some more. Move quickly to defend this ridge, my lord. The trees will grant your warriors cover, while the slope will provide them an advantage in combat. Advance upon the ridge without delay, my lord. That position offers you the best chance of victory against such a number. Order you oh, that is a... Quickly. And then we scout up here and then rotate a bit. And... There, right? And let's get some archers. Press them into your service at once. Some amongst their number carry crossbows. They will be yes. able to fire on the rat men from behind your front lines. All right. Let's get those crossbows into action because those crossbows are going to be valuable. Move the infantry into your front line. The extra one. bodies are sorely needed. Oh, I can't even do that. Okay, let's get all of these. Get your fresh missile troops behind your army. They will fire automatically if the enemy come into range. So you're gonna be here, and they'll be behind. Boom, and you'll be right smack in the middle. Unit movement. Uh, that's drag and show destination in space. Attack. Right click enemy unit selection. Multiple select is. Okay, good. Let's have a look at this army down here to so see if we can. What we can see here. What are you? Oh, they're coming. That's slingers. Can I just right click and get back? Oh, they're actually moving right now. Be sure to arrange your infantry in a line for the coming battle, my lord. Come on. Each unit should cover the flank of the next. Do not let the enemy attack the sides of your formation or break through to the rear. Which means Excellent, my lord. The ridge is yours. Move your infantry out to block the pass and await the enemy's arrival. Do not there. be tempted out of position. Okay, so that means we are now making cross here and get a good vantage point behind. You're going to be right smack in the middle because you're going to do work. Unfortunately, I don't feel I have enough troops to start flanking maneuvers or anything like that. Maybe that would actually be better. Let's see how long they can reach. What, what is that? Oh, okay, it's just simply the selection. There. Okay, so that means we now have our position. They did actually take a bit of a beating, but they are. What is their exhaustion? They're eager. Thanks, secure. Thanks, secure. Okay. New. Thanks, secure. And. All right. Don't let them flee beneath the earth. Let's see when they start firing. Come on, fire. Yes. No. There they are. Come on. Yes. I'm just learning the camera movements here. Here comes the clan rat spears. Do I hold it or... Oh, shoot. That damn... What the hell am I? Sorry. The enemy are nearly upon you, my lord. Oh. Be sure to make your presence felt in the coming battle. 
You have many abilities to rally and empower your troops. Okay, now stand your ground. There. And you? You're gonna go there. Order your forces forward to envelop the enemy where possible. Do not leave troops idle. What are you doing? What? You're in skirmish mode. No, don't go into skirmish mode. You can fight. You can shoot these guys down here, right? And let's try to go to the other side. Get some better view. Ouch, they're getting beat up. I need this gun to break. And then I'm going to run in here. Come on. Get the hero in there. There we go. Let's make an impact. Ouch. And this one's doing fine because they are getting beat up. And unfortunately their morale is too high. Ouch. You are doing great. You're not doing so great. Wow. And hey, you're doing some hero stuff. That's not good. I really need to... Oh. Going on. Oh, that's about time. Yes, they are. I thought it was like, how the hell am I gonna make this? Let's see. I don't really need this, do I? Okay. And then I slam into the side. For some reason I cannot figure out this uh, this camera movement. These ones, let's do this one. Okay. Then go over here. Oh, let's look at this charge. Oh, that's a nice charge. You're getting in into the thick of it. They should be breaking really quickly. As soon as they break, and they're gonna break soon. Look at that. And what do we have here? What are you shooting at? Yes, you're shooting at stuff. How are we doing? Oh, anything? I need my hero. Where's my hero? Here's my hero. Okay, they're getting beat up now. Where's their hero? There. And down here. Let's charge into the rear just to get some more. Okay, there's more coming. Just get in there. Get in there. Oh, yummy. I like these cold ones. Just stab them. Kill them. But they're broken now. They're very tired and they're broken. Friends rooting. Okay. So we are just collapsing the whole damn thing now. Okay. And now jam into those clam rats. Yeah, they don't really get a good charge out of us. Okay. There we go. They're almost dead. How many? 18, 17. And how are they doing? Yes, they are just taking whatever comes back. And how's my hero? Uh, hold on, where's my... My hero is not over here. I'll just do that stand ground. What does that do? It's melee defense and leadership. Nice. Come on, get over there. They are pretty much broken. Let's see if we can kill the Lord. And the other... This one? We can start go heading there. Oh, they are reforming. Interesting. Oh, 
I want to kill their lord because once that happens, then I'll smash the smash down there for the rest. Broken, exhausted, tired, and you know what? These two—they're not gonna get it. I'll just put them on this ring, on this bridge instead. Oh no! No. no? Come on. There. That's what I wanted. Yes. Are you getting him? Come on. What is... How many hit points? Let's get into the trees here. Oh. Oh. Is he down? He's down. Okay. So they are regrouping down there. But now they have no... Heroes. So let's take it nice and calm here. And then I take all of this. And then I move it forward. And twist it a bit. There. You're going to move in. Are you getting it? No, you're not getting it just yet. Rookie. I want to just hit them with the archers and then force them to attack me. Yes? No? Are they... Why are they not shooting? Seriously? Alright, we just try one more. One more support. And now they should be firing. Come on. Yes. Oh yeah. Ha! Huh. They didn't like that. Let's uh, continue and I want them to charge up the hill. You're going to go over here. Yeah. Oh, let's just get a fat charge in here. I want to get... I want to see this charge. I can come on. You can do. No, we didn't make it. Victorious Duke, he secured the battlefield, gleefully butchering any quivering wounded they find. Malekith, for his part, turns his attention to resecuring his capital. The Witch King knows that the scheme and threat will recede only with the complete eradication from the continent. That seems about right. Unfortunately, the continent is also below ground, and that's kind of where the scheme and hang out. That was pretty good. I mean, uh, the camera action is not perfect. We'll uh, we'll get to that. One of the key points that I feel is uh, is different, but what I really like about uh, Warhammer is that it's not always good to have all your forces engaged all the time. Sometimes you want to engage, wait for them to settle, even if you are outnumbered, in order to go move into a better position to get a flanking charge or something like that. And that, I think, is is pretty brilliant. So, let's see. We need to re-secure our capital. Well, we do have our capital, but I guess we need to claim this region. Awesome. We've got some loot. What are our options? Ransom captives? No. Murder captives. Our experience. is now yours to decide. First. Or enslave, that's replenishment and slaves. I think I'll take slaves. I don't know what that does, but let's take slaves. Your forces are weary from battle, yet they still resistance. Your army can still move, be shown around it, my lord. Mm. Plan I'd like to go there. Wisely, for your armies cannot defend the realm if they are not present to fight. Bow before Malekith. How's this one? This one's not... Oh, I can't even click it yet. 
The enemy still threaten your black citadel, sire. March now towards the capital and block any possibility of attack. If I move here, how does that block possibility of attack? That's to Good. upkeep the money your I pay in return. Now blocks the approach to your capital. Any attack by the enemy will need to get by you first. See for yourself how your forces control the area around them. Ah, there. And that one there. So there's no room to move by. More of your murderous kin stand ready to take up oh, that would be nice. Recruit them now and so we recruit them and that's the this one. So what are our options for recruiting? Dread Spears or Dark Shards? Dark Shards? Oh, that's missile. I like that. And let's see. I have three. There. Excellent choices, my lord. Be aware that the recruits will take time to train and that your army must remain stationary while they do so. So I now have five melee fighters and three archers. I'd like to have four archers, but whatever. Can't get you can't get it all. You will, of course, be aware that armed forces uh, okay, okay. to build. I like this intro. This is a really good be intro sure for you and me. Watch on your finances, lest ruin overtakes you. Look on me and cower. So it seems like I'm making a lot of money. Let us review what destruction the Skaven have wrought on your territory, sire. Select your city to inspect the province. Okay. The province surrounding your capital is shown here, my lord. A province may contain many cities, each exerting authority over the territory surrounding them. Control the cities, and you control the land. Okay, so I need these three in order to control the region. I can see that I have a lot more building slots in my capital, and I like that regional capital. So I need the. Let's see. Cities within the local province. and Kilra. Along with any facilities they contain. I can represent buildings within the settlement in the province of Earth. I can. Okay, so that's the one I need. Shown also are those cities in the province that were lost to the enemy. A reminder of the need to reclaim them, my lord. We need to get hold of these two, that's for sure. Your capital and the buildings it contains are shown here, my lord. Work needs to be done to improve its readiness. Here we may see the state oh, of the okay, province cool. that surrounds your capital. The enemy raids have caused considerable unrest. Public it's the unrest. suffering, as you can see, my lord. The I'm agitators will need calming in time. Scheming corruption the and whatever that is. Okay, the growth of a promise measure of the expansion of the population. Growth leads to population. Surplus when can spend on upgrading. Yeah, so that's the main building in each one. This is rank one. So when this heats rank two, I can spend those two to make Nagarant bigger city. Settlements produce income of the ruler. The more settlement affecting control, the more money it receives from taxes. Dagos also capture slaves and battle slaves. Increase income but decrease public order in the province they are distributed. Cool. Don't exactly know how that works. Public order is a print measure of the population's happiness or repression. It must be kept in check to prevent province from degenerating into revolt. And here we have Corruption is a measure of chaos, vampires, scaven, influence in province, as shown in province. Wow. So there's more types your of corruption. The backbone of your state, my lord. There's also something Access over here, but we'll find out. And they provide the Suitable climate. To support your armies. I humbly suggest you commission upgrades um, to your capital as soon as possible. Okay, so let's see what, what happens. So when I do this, I get plus 30% income from all buildings. That's nice. All region, income from all buildings, all region and Jason province. Wow. Grant two construction slots in the settlement. Okay. That's good. Uh, army ability lure of the pale queen, local armies. Okay. So that means if I'm locally and then it upgrades my garrison. So definitely do that. Immediately, but will take some time to complete. And here I have my overview of buildings. Why is my pu public order? Oh, it's just from Texas. And what do we have? Receive slaves. When slaves are captured, this province will receive its normal share. Okay. Because additional slaves or no more slaves. Me and cower. 
Okay, slaves are captured in battle and are distributed in accordance to each province slave setting. Larger settlements receive more slaves and small ones. The more slaves a settlement has, the more income it can generate, but with lower public order. <laughs> Slurge perish naturally over time. I'm not sure it's naturally. So what do we do here? We are getting income increased 3.3%. 3 .3, so at this point, it's nothing, but whatever. It's, it's good. To further, even the vast knowledge of the Druki, Go into the technology panel. To work on improving your Choose or die. Or... Done. So what I have is driven by vengeance. With dread spears, dark shots, and bleak swords. Those are basic units. Battle as business. Income from raiding and income from both battles. That's nice. Maybe even in the beginning. Britain cost is not much. 5%. Growth in all provinces. No. I'll take this one. And the reason is I'm going to do. Not so much rating, but plus battle loot is good. In time, the knowledge. Good. So. There is nothing more you can do for now, my lord. Let us await your enemy's next move. All right, let's end the move. They have everyone working here. Something is happening. Temple of Cain. Hmm. All right. You are attacking me. Ready your forces, for battle is upon you once more. Ah, this should be good. Vermich, you are um, armored and shielded. Rank 1 hero. I'm still rank 1 hero. Clan rat spears. Is that clan rat spears? Okay. So more clan rats. Meat shield. Ha. And then Skaven slave slingers. And we have a... Okay, plate claw catapult. I'm going to try to see if I can get that one on. Let's engage and set up a battle. I think we get some deployment time now. Oh, they attacked me before I got my reinforcements. That sucks. I guess we'll figure out how to to deal with that after. We'll, we'll get that once it becomes my turn again next time. Then recruitment is completed. They have... With these two, they are going to make such a huge difference. Just don't run him into spears. Spears are good against cavalry. I'm better on range. But I need to circle around it. Once again, my lord. Your forces are ready to deploy for the coming engagement. Oh, we can deploy this time. Oh. Always survey the terrain prior to battle and position your troops to gain an edge. The enemy gave battle, so the onus is on them to attack. Use this to okay. your advantage. Well, actually... This forest may be used to conceal your forces. Arrange your cavalry here, my lord, and they will remain unseen until the enemy draw close. That is a good idea. Can I... Good. Oh, I have to do that now. Good. Your troops are now hidden from enemies. Okay, side, that's a good... How can I see that? Okay, you can see it's hidden. All right, we'll keep him in here. To your unit cards, my lord, for they indicate the status of your troops. Be mindful of your army. Success on the battlefield depends upon it. Obviously. If a unit carries some ammunition, the amount is shown here. Okay, so they can actually run out. A unit card will flash white if it begins to waver from the fight. Okay. That's this not going to happen. Will afford your troops an edge in the coming battle, my lord. Yes, that seems Place reasonable. The rest of your troops close by and claim its forward slopes once battle begins. There. Doesn't seem wide enough, doesn't it? I'll just drag it a bit up there. Yeah. Good. Good. Your troops are ready, my lord. Just give the signal and the engagement shall begin. I think I need you to be number one. And that means you become number two. And that means you become number three. And that becomes, becomes number. Uh, that sucks. I don't know why I do this. 
and then you become just number four. Cool. All right, we're ready to start the battle. And claim the hilltop, my lord. Its slopes will serve your forces well. Keep your cavalry hidden. Rookie. Rookie. And they are hidden. Oh, why? I can't seem to just get these properly. What? Did, did you just completely wreck me with just a single shot? My lord, Holy shit. Yes, I know. But this is not a nice artillery. Employ okay. your hidden forces, my lord. Advance Good. them through the forest, and they will be able to quickly surprise and overwhelm the enemy war machines. Good. But I'm just just gonna take one of them. And then I'll have my number two. Be sure to have your troops arranged for battle. Employ all that you have learned. Wear them down with missiles. Pin them with infantry. Then hit them in the flanks. Okay, they're trying to protect me. So now they come out here. I am getting beat up in the middle. Oh, I have spells. What is that? That is power of darkness. That is... Uh, self? Greatly increases the power surf. Um, okay. And this one is chill wind. Causes magical damage. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's awesome. I want that. Oh no! I charged right into spears. I'm a moron. How many you have left? And they are shattered. Shattered doesn't mean they're never coming back. And come on, three left. Go, go, go. You're gonna take care of the hero. And you, you're gonna come back. Judge right smack in the middle of that. Okay, let's see. Okay, now they're just fleeing everywhere. Oh, let's see this charge. Come on, faster. Oh, no! Lovely. Yes. Kill the damn rats. Awesome. Oh, is that murderous prowess or whatever? Just keep going. No skimming slingers there. What are they? They're clan rats. Any anything else on the horizon? You? You're you're just hopelessly changing this. Uh, the enemy something something. Well, how are we doing here? Yes. Kill them. And up here, how is this one doing? Even 8, 17, 16. Keep just hammering them. Can I just watch a charge come in here? That would be nice. We like cavalry charges. They've given up on there. Come on. Kill those rats. Are they tired? No, they're, they're moving fast. These guys are... Oh, they're tired and army losers and all that good stuff. How sorcery is majestic. Okay, come on, get that charge in. Are they charging? Get that charge. There we go. That's the charge. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that doesn't seem like they're like this. He actually left of this. Let's see if we can charge the next guys. How many? 69? Yes, keep chopping. Oh my god, that's awesome. I love it. What? Okay, that was like... 20 then dead. I like these. Look at how far they fly. So awesome. 
Oh yeah. They are doing good work. They are pretty much all gone, aren't they? Can I kill them all before they reach the edge? They're just running in all sorts of directions. Oh, let's let's kill that one instead. That's 77, that seems more worth it than just finishing up the last eight of these. Come on. Hello, Skaven. How are you doing? Scurrying rats. How many? 77? Oh, look at that on the horizon. Don't get into the forest. I don't know if I can charge well in the forest, but... Oh, here they come. Here it comes. Boom! Oh, I like the jump. It's dangerous running around and running backwards with a camera in the middle of a forest. How many do they have left now? Oh, they made it. Alright, cool. That should be it. In battle. Okay, so how many? We killed the Lord. He did actually get 28 kills. Yeah, but that's not a problem. Got three kills. I lost almost none. 200 kills from... That's probably the ones chasing them down. I didn't quite kill all of them. So I don't know how if they survive or not. But we'll find out. They have 211 remaining. That's barely, barely anything. So that's a good one. That was a very good one. And to me, this seems like a really good place to maybe end the first episode. We are continuing the introduction. I really do appreciate the fact that this is a, an introduction because it serves as an introduction for you to the game and for me to the mechanics. And I've, I'm just thoroughly enjoying this. And I mean, how can you not being a, being a dark elf prince slaughtering rats? I mean, what's not to like? Let's uh, just get back to the do the post post battle uh, mechanics. Take some slaves. If we killed five hundred and nineteen, let's see how many we can then get, catch in terms of the slaves we we gather. Yes, decisive victory. What are our options? We can ransom the captives. No, we can murder them. Might actually not be a bad idea to get you to get orange slave. Ooh, that's a lot of replenishment we can get immediately. I'll do that. Boom. And then he runs away. What? Oh yeah, it's not even my turn. Their turn. Now it's my turn. Concentrate their movements around sites of magic. Looting artifacts of great power. Skaven are pitiful cowards. They would not seek war with me without good reason. We must counterattack and discern their motives. Okay, Skaven Underworld. Settlements of the Skaven are not ordinarily visible to the other races, appearing instead as inhabited ruins. Armies of other races will not discover the Skaven threat within a ruin until they attempt to colonize or hunt for treasure there. Ouch. Yeah, that sucks. All right, we have a mission. Occupy, capture and occupy a settlement belonging to the following faction, Clan Septic. And that gives me some scrolls of Hikari that... Uh, Oon of the Black Court. It is the Black Court's will that reinforcement from Nagarond be sent to bolster their own forces, your majesty. They were distance, of course, their names noted for your later perusal. You have been granted the following units. Black Guard of Nagarond and Reaper Bolt Crop Thrower. Nice. And Talisman gained. He got a Talisman. Kitchen Plucker Pendant. Okay. That's interesting. That seems like a not so good. Uh, what is that? Lord of Namur. Okay. We are going to wrap this one up and continue our introduction and our slaughter of the Ratman in the next episode. So thank you for joining. I hope to join. Hope you'll join later on the next episode. That is. So be sure to leave a comment, a like if you like it, um, and also very much hints about things I've already now done wrong because I'm very interested in, in improving my playstyle. So thank you and see you next time. Bye.